Hey guys, in this video I'm going to review power stations from eTacker. This is Kickstarter project and capacity of each power station is 2 kilowatt hours. It has lithium ion batteries which is rated for 1.5 thousand cycles till 80% of capacity. And uh, I'm personal not a big fan of lithium ion batteries because it has less cycles than LFP batteries. However, if you compare the size of power station with LFP battery and with lithium ion battery, we'll find that it has the same physical size, but capacity for lithium ion is uh, twice bigger. So it depends if you want to choose like bigger capacity or more cycles, you can select what station you want to buy. And uh, right here I have two power stations because it has interesting feature. It can do 240 volts split phase system and we're going to test this as well. In the package with the power stations we're getting of course AC charging cord. Then we're getting um, uh, MC4 to XT60 to charge power stations from solar. And we're getting accessory port to XT60 to charge from a car. And uh, right here is a um, hub. Two ends of this hub we can connect to power stations and uh, right here we're gonna get 120 volts, 17 amps maximum and uh, right here is a 240 volts split phase system. So in a theory we can connect this to generator input on the home and power entire electrical panel in the home in case of grid outages. And it should work of course if we're not going to exceed 17 amps which is maximum for those power stations. Right here is a specification for this power station. Additionally, this is Kickstarter project, so this is prototype, but production version will have a Bluetooth connection so we can control power station through application. On the front side of power station, we have screen with uh, information about input and output information, how much charge left for power station. Then we have six USB ports, two USB-C with 100 watts combined output, QC3 60 watts and USB-A 2.4 amps. Then under this cover we have a charging port XT60 to charge from a car or from a PV and then we have three 12 volt output ports. At the bottom right here we have three covers, two outlets under each cover and maximum we can get 2000 watts combined from all outlets, 120 volts AC. On the back side of power station we have a LED light, pretty bright panel here. It has multiple modes. Then we have two fans and uh, behind this cover we have a um, resettable fuse, AC input and the port to connect multiple power stations together. To charge power station we can use AC input up to 1.4 kilowatts. Also it can support multiple charging inputs. We can charge from AC and solar and from a solar we can get up to 1000 watts maximum. We have a range from solar panels 18 to 50 volts with a 21 amps maximum. For the stress test I'm going to cut 4x4 piece of lumber with 12 inch blade saw. To test capacity of power station I'm going to apply about 450 watts of load and let's see how many kilowatt hours we're gonna get from this. And uh, we got 1.8 kilowatt hours of capacity for this power station. Now I'm going to try to charge this power station from solar. Alright here is 395 watts each panel with a OCV open circuit voltage about 40 volts so I'm going to parallel two panels for one power station and run another power, sta power station on a one panel. And uh, we're charging one power station with a 77 watts with a panel like shaded here and there and other power station right now is uh, 250 watts. So now I'm going to wait till sun is gonna raise and uh, we're gonna have these panels unshaded. We will see how much power we're getting into power stations. 
while we're charging stations, I'm going to connect this hub and uh, apply 1.6 kilowatts of load and we will measure what is the output voltage and uh, if we're getting pure sine wave uh, from output. So voltage output is uh, 120 volts and the other power station under the load it's 118, so it's almost no drop in the voltage. And it's 60 Hz, pure sign. And same for power station under the load. And if you check voltage here at 240 volts outlet, yeah, we're getting 238 volts AC. And we have left panel fully unshaded, right panel, right two panels, we have small shade right here and just a little bit at the bottom. Right now is the middle of November, so we shouldn't expect full output from the solar panels. From my experience, it's gonna be like ideal condition, like 70%. And of course, uh, angle of solar panels is not, is far from ideal right now. Let's see where we are. So on the left panel, we have 325 watts. On the right panels, we have 625 watts. All right, not bad. So MPPT charge controllers works well on those power stations. Two charging power stations. Right now, one power station at 100%, 99, and the other is 81%. What is a nice feature, we can connect one power station to other and charge from two inputs from a solar and AC. Yeah, right now this panel engaging and uh, supplying 230 watts. We're drawing from this power station 936 watts and uh, all this power going right here. So we're charging this power station with a solar and AC power. Almost fully charged. We're at 19% one and 97% second power station. Now let's test 240 worlds. To test power stations with the 240 volts, I'm going to connect this to heat pump and we will see how well it can run it. Yep, and it's running 240 volts heat pump without any issues. Here I am disassembling power station. I don't have much knowledge about electronics, but in case you do, here's the internal components. And uh, here's a quick test for USB ports. I'm charging laptop, I'm charging phone that I'm recording right now. Additional phone here and camera. And we draw 122 watts from power station and no issues at all. And, uh, and here's the final thoughts about this power station. It did perform well for all tests, load capacity, stress test. And uh, if uh, they are going to implement Bluetooth application and if this power station priced correctly, it's going to be a really nice competitor for existing power stations, especially if you need 240 volts split phase system for this size of power stations. All right, guys, that's all about this video. I hope you did enjoy these tests and review. Thank you for watching and see you later.